But one of the things that I think really interests a lot of us who are inside the loop and really in Houston, and probably those who commute through 45, is the way that that is being transformed. So is that happening now? Is the construction happening now? Or how is, what are the phases, north to south? Which, which phase starts first? We will start inside. Um, it is in three, three segments. Phase one is actually segment three. Um, as I discussed on the presentation. So we will start within downtown. Uh, it'll connect. Um, what it will do is um, change the way people travel through downtown and it actually will increase uh, traffic speed by about 20 miles per hour, reduce congestion by about 50%. And as also showed on the slide, when we can improve the traffic speed within the nucleus, then everything coming in and out of that also sees the benefit. And that's one of the reasons we decided to start there. What's, what are you most proud of? Sounds like it's a lot of work to me. <laughs> um, Just to be prepared for your meetings. So most, most proud of at the end of the day that I got through the day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but in seriousness, um, I, I'm really proud of the people. Um, it, it's interesting to join a, a government agency uh, with 12,000 people and outside looking in, you don't necessarily perceive and the amount it. and appreciate the amount of work and effort and caring that actually comes from mm -hmm. uh, the employees at TxDOT and the vision. Mm -hmm. And so I'm proud of that. I am uh, proud to be a part of that team and I'm proud to be able to make a difference for Texas. Mm -hmm. And I think we're focused on that. Uh, tell me, do, do the ideas, the configurations of, I always wonder like why is that street light there or why is there left turn lane here? And who creates that? Is that the engineers or mm -hmm. do you do you get, you know, well, I hadn't thought about that. Did that come from the outside world? Did it come from ideas outside the staff? Mm -hmm. Both. Uh, initially, mm -hmm. uh, a major a basic design will be uh, put in place, and then there are a lot of uh, public outreach meetings on any project that gets done. And a lot of that comes from, and the, the North Houston project is actually a great example, a lot of the feedback and the tweaks that are being changed right now uh, in the environmental document have come from, um, you know, what... Uh, the concerned citizens? The concerned citizens, uh, the people that actually live there that will mm -hmm. be uh, dealing with it every day. And uh, that feedback has been taken into place. So mm -hmm. some of the best ideas come from outside of Textile. Mm -hmm. Right. I know that when you have meetings, and I'm aware of that, I try to get it out to our members so that mm -hmm. they can, if they're aware of it, well, then they can plug in and be mm -hmm. part of the solution and have the heads up be really um, a resource for the for the uh, residents in that area that's being impacted. So I hope that, hope that HAR's involvement helps you as well. It does, any, any involvement, any awareness, and any of the input absolutely helps any project to be better.